Hi guys, welcome to the video. In this video I'm going to be showing you all the steps that you need to complete to get the Lament Exotic Sword. Now the quest became available after the Deepstone Crypt had been beat, the new raid. Uh, I think most of us had an idea that that was when this quest was going to become available. So I'm going to not only be showing you all the steps you need to complete it, but where I kind of went to complete some of them. Now there's about eight or nine steps in this quest, so it's time consuming to a degree, but it's not difficult. So to start the quest off, you need to go to Banshee and collect the quest to start with. And this is the first step. You need to find three lost exos. Now I went to two different places to find them. The first place I went was Cadmus Ridge. I'll show, show you all the locations on the map. This one is just out in the open, right exactly where I am now, right in front of the big Vex structure. The second one I went to was in the Pedition Law Sector, which is in the Cadmus Ridge area, so you've got two here. I think there's there's like seven or eight of these, so you can go to, to whichever ones that you want to go to, but I kind of found that these were the quickest. And this is where it is, you'll see the cache, and it's right behind you in the Law Sector once you beat the boss. The third place I went to was the Asterian Abyss. Now, this one's kind of buried in the snow a little bit. It's just to the right, just on the right hand side as you're going up to the entrance to the Nexus area. So once you complete these, once you get these three exoskeletons, whichever ones you went for, your next step is going to be to go and access a giant exo skull, basically. It's so this is going to take you into the Bray Exoscience area and it's going to take us to an area in there that we've never been to before. So you can mark it on your map, make it a little bit easier for you to find it. But even if you mark it on the map, it doesn't exactly show you exactly where to go. So you need to get to this place. This It will show you how to get here. So I'm going to let the route play out a little bit and just kind of give you a, a few tips because... Maybe it's just me, but I found it a little bit confusing in places where I was to go. It didn't mark it out. I kind of had to mess about and search about. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's not that difficult after all. But when you get to this room, just head straight across to the red kind of area. Drop down and you'll get here. When you get here, I jumped straight across to this platform in the center. This glass circle in the middle, it's, it's broke. So you can just drop down. And then head over to your right and you'll see that the exit on your left hand side is kind of lit up. So if you head straight over here, straight over, all the way over to our right, you'll see as we're going over, you'll see on the left there's kind of a, a lit up doorway. That's that's where you have to go. And there are some enemies here, as you'll see, I'm OCD, I like to kill everything that's in front of me. But you can just run past all of these and you will be greeted by... The Exo Reconstruction of Clovis Bray. Um, what's going to happen is you're going you're gonna to speak to him, obviously. And he's going to give you the next step of the quest. But you have to speak to him twice to get it. So, I, interact with him the first time. You have a little bit of dialogue. Interact with him the second time. He's a little bit more courteous. And he gives you the next step of the quest. So, once you get into this room, you'll see his massive, massive Vex head. And this is actually where you're going to finish the quest as well, to be fair. So, once you once you activate him, once you interact with him, you'll interact with him a second time and he'll give you the quest step. The next quest step, as you can see, is kill 100 Vex and kill 20 Minotaur, Cyclops or Hydras. Now, I went back to the, the Perdition Law Sector, but outside you'll see there's two groups of ads. If you kill each one, so as you can see, I've killed those guys. And I'll go straight to the next set. If you just keep killing both sets of them, they will keep respawning. So by the time I kill this set, the next set will have respawned. But make sure you kill all the ads in the little group. If you leave one up, they won't respawn. Sometimes it will be a, a Minotaur and a Hydra. Sometimes it will be two Minotaurs. Sometimes you'll get a Minotaur with this group and you'll get a Minotaur and a Hydra with the other group. I also kind of went sometimes into the Perdition Law Sector because there's two or three uh, Minotaurs in there. But once you complete this step, then we're going to be doing a brand new activity, something that we haven't had yet that was also locked maybe behind the Deepstone Crypt Raid being beat, which is we're now going to get Exo Challenges. So you're going to be prompted, once you, once you complete the quest, once you complete this step, you're going to be prompted to go and complete an exo challenge. Now what it looks like to me 
as there are multiple different types. As you can see there, I only need one more. I'm just showing you guys how e how many times they do spawn. I'm going the wrong way. I've got to go up to the left. How many? How often these minotaurs spawn? And you can literally do this in this part in a couple of minutes. But in this area, it's right outside the Pedition uh, Law Sector in Cadmus Ridge. So there we go. So now I'm being prompted. I'll get I'll get a a, a mission st step on my map. We can click it and track it. And this takes us to these new, it's not that one, uh, it's over to the left, over to the left, uh, and this takes us to the actual challenges. Now this is a survival one I believe, there's three different types of challenges. Now the first part of this challenge corrupted, so we've got it from about halfway through. You'll see here, back into the exoscience area, and this is where you'll find this quest. Now, this, cha this survival challenge, basically it's a brand new kind of thing, it's, it's a little bit different from, from a lot of the stuff that we get in the game. You basically have to make your way through an area. Now we've had some so stuff similar but not quite the same. You're going to make it through this area and you're going to be affected by a debuff. Kind of like uh, the boss of the prophecy. It will go, go up to 10, if it gets to 10 you'll die and it's the cold. I think it's called Icy Cold. Uh, if you let it get to 10, it will kill you. You've got... You go between areas. There's fire pits that you can get to. And the fire pit completely takes the debuff off you. But in between those areas, you've got to kill Vex. And when you kill Vex, they drop kind of light motes. You'll see here. The light motes take stacks of your debuff off you. And you'll see here as it's going up there. Bitter Wind, I think it's called. Uh, and the idea is, it's it's basically you've got to move all the way up. You keep going up. You see this fire pit takes the debuff. You wait till the debuff's completely gone, and then you can go. The more ads you kill, if you can kill ads in front of you and drop those moats, then it makes you a little bit safer. Keep keep making your way up the platforms until you get to this point, and you're going to fight a boss. Complete the boss, and you get the next step. As you can see, it's. It's not not really even that difficult, but this is like the I I don't know if the the difficulty levels of these will ramp up a little bit. I I'd be surprised if they didn't, but it was you'll see for yourself when you do it. It's actually really cool. So once you complete that and you open up the chest, you'll get the next next step. Now the next step is finishers on Vex. This one was it was annoying, but I went straight back to the Perdition Law Sector because. You've now got to get finishers on Vex. You do not get a lot of percent for just Red Bar Vex. You get a lot more in between 9 and 10% for uh, Elite Vex. So I went back to the Pedition Law Sector because there's an Elite Minotaur. There's actually, I think there's two in there. And as you'll see here, I I actually finished it on the normal one. The normal Vex, uh, the normal Minotaur. The normal Minotaur seemed to give more percent than the red than, than red bar ads, maybe because he was shielded. But one, I just kept running in and out of this law sector. I didn't bother doing the boss. I was only interested in finishing enemies. I kept doing that until I got to this, until I finished it. And the next step is you've got to find blade parts in the glass way. Now you'll see here that the way it's worded is if you've got to go and find them as if they're hidden, they're not. You just have to kill kill Vex or kill Ads at the, it seems like at the boss. So you'll see here, uh, I'm going to throw a Nova and it's just a nothing Nova. And it actually kills some of the Ads and I get the blade pieces. So it's just from killing Ads and you'll find them mostly at the boss. Once you get those blade pieces, you've got to go back to Banshee. Banshee is then going to send you to a forgotten bunker, which isn't really that forgotten because it's the bunker E15. So once you once you do the bunker E15, most people will know that's in Eventide Ruins. Once you do that and open up the chest, then you will get another quest. Mark it on your map, but it's taken us right back to the giant exoskull. Boys and girls, you're gonna get your sword. So what's gonna happen is you make your all, all the way back here, the Vex are flooding in on, on Clovis. He will ask you to put your broken blade bits that you got from the glassway here. And then just defend the area. Once you once he's gonna build it and halfway through, 
He's going to give you, and then you're going to go ham on the enemies. There you go. That is your exotic sword. And this is all the perks. It's kind of like a god roll sword. Very, very, very cool. You see here the perks. It's 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 got Jagged Edge, Enduring Guard, Relentless Tireless Blade, and if you hold left trigger, you can ramp it up like a chainsaw. And that's the quest. So... It's a little bit of a different video for me. I thought you guys might appreciate it and it might help you guys get it. If you did, did appreciate the video, if it helped you, a like goes a long way. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.